Obviously, I was ready to get back to play, but you know, I didn't, you know, I, I didn't doubt myself. You know, I know how to play basketball, and uh, regardless of how many points I scored, just trying to come out and help us get a win. You know, that was just most important. Tatum has averaged to, to under 21 points per game in losses this postseason, but has taken his game to another level in games after a loss, averaging over 32 points per game in that situation, so the man knows how to rebound. That is the most in a single postseason in Celtics history. Big Perk back here with us. J.J. Redick back here with us. You know what, Perk? I'm going to start with you. Uh, can the Celtics trust Tatum to carry them to a series win? Yeah. Yeah, Molly. Without a doubt, look. He got him this far, okay? Once he got past Kevin Durant and, and Kyrie Irving, then went and moved on and got past Giannis Antetokounmpo, who in my eyes is the best player, the most dominant player in the world. When he was able to match Giannis 40 and 20, and he had that 46-piece wing dinner all flats, look, if Jason Tatum could get past those in those two series, there's no doubt in my mind that he can't get past this Miami Heat team and a hobble Jimmy Butler. Not let alone, he's on the verge of actually getting past Steph Curry and the Golden State Warriors. Look, this guy's just that elite. 6'10", could do it all, zero flaws in this game offensively. Now he's taking a step to another level, making guys around him better. Hell yeah, he could carry this team to the finals. Yeah, I, I totally agree with Perk. I, I definitely think he can be trusted. He's got, he has gotten him this far. In terms of the bounce back game, yeah. I, I saw an interesting stat this morning. So since mid-January, mm -hmm. he has yet to play in back-to-back -back losses. That's a stretch of 41 games. Coming off a loss, coming off a bad game, he's averaging 32 mm -hmm. and shooting 51% from the field. I go back. This is why I think it's different. Like, we were talking about Bam earlier in terms of that up and down, him having a good, good game, him having an off game, him having a good game. That, that's not who Jason Tatum is. Yes, there are some uh, head-scratching games mixed in. I go back to the Milwaukee series. He had 10 points. Mm -hmm. The next three games, he goes for 30, 34, 46. Yep. You know, my expectation mm -hmm. is that he will continue to play like he played last night, and he will help close out this series for the Boston Celtics. Don't agree, don't disagree with y'all at all. I will throw this caveat in there though. I think the Boston will win this series in seven games. I think Tatum will have two great games and one stinker. That's that that's what I expect. You expect the stinker. I, I expect him to have one game that's reminiscent of what we saw in game three. Okay. I expect him to explode those other two games and deliver the goods in this series. That's what I think that well, you've come. Not to say that there can't be three straight games because we've seen them do it before, but more often than not, what we get from Jason Tatum is elements of greatness, mm -hmm. but some more inconsistency. Uh, there's nothing to question his talent. Brother can handle, he can shoot, got a long range shot, got a mid range shot, can finish at the baskets, athletic, long, defense plays on both ends of the floor, offensively better than defensively, obviously, but in the end, I think that because of the toughness of Miami and how physical the referees mm -hmm. allowed the yeah. game to be periodically, that's what you're going to see. I remember in game three, they win game three, and last night I'm on NBA Countdown with Will Bond and Jay Rose and, and, and Malik, who did a great job filling in for Greeny because he was out sick. And I said, excuse me, y'all, this is game four. Boston's down 2-1. They're going to get the calls tonight. And at halftime, they had 26 free throws to Miami's nine. It wouldn't surprise me at all if roles were reversed and suddenly Miami's getting an exorbitant amount of calls mm -hmm. and Boston is not. I just see this series being something where Jason Tatum will struggle in one game and he'll explode in the other two. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.